Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Monday morning. Thanks for sticking around with us as we start you off on a brand new week. Now, Woolworths has established themselves as a passionate brand that cares very deeply about alleviating hunger in South Africa. It's part of their DNA, and they will continue to drive this passion. And they believe that food security is a fundamental human need, and a lack thereof exposes and highlights systemic inequalities. Take a look at the story. Woolworths, as a responsible corporate citizen, believes it's really important to get involved in the community and have an impact. We do this through our corporate social investment initiatives and specifically in partnership with NGOs across the country. We believe it's important to help people that need assistance now, but to also lead to more sustainable change by impacting people in the socio-economic development agenda of the country and enabling people to earn an income and to support their own livelihoods. Tanda is a community-based organisation that we started 14 years ago. We started originally with after-school programmes and then we added organic farming and early childhood development programmes because we realised that everything's interconnected and you can't support people in, with one thing in isolation. We like to see people as individuals and address their holistic needs as people themselves. After so many food parcels, we needed a more sustainable intervention and so we started empowering households to grow their own food in their own back gardens and it's grown phenomenally. We have 420 households now growing their own food. People are really enjoying the program but it's also just become a matter of survival and something that people need to do. So, I was in 2012, I was in 2016, I was in the hospital. I was in the hospital, 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 I Woolworths has been involved in food security initiatives for a number of years. It's part of our good business journey and part of our inclusive justice intent. We believe that people have the right to access to food and where they don't, it highlights the inequalities that we have in society. We support people who need food to eat today through our donation of surplus food to many organisations across the country. We also support the NGO Food Forward SA that distributes edible surplus food to people in need and more specifically in the rural areas of our country. We then believe that we can help people to move beyond needing donations to be able to grow their own food and support themselves. And we do that through various organizations across the country and also enable people to go from subsistence farming to earning an income. We've got various organizations across the country that are supporting farmers, that are supporting early childhood development centers. We believe it's really important to get young people involved in food security and we do this through various partners who are targeting specifically agripreneurs, young people who are looking for opportunities to get into the agricultural sector. As much as we care about the community and we want to support them, we can't do anything alone. So we really rely on partners to help us actually make things happen. And Wolves has been an amazing partner this year. They've supported the training and the mentoring um, and all everything that goes into making the farming program possible. They were especially helpful after the floods. Uh, the farmers lost a lot with the floods in April. Um, a lot of hard work sort of washed away and they were able to step in and support us with seedlings and other things that we needed to help the farmers bounce back and rebound. We have some farmers that are just subsistence farmers who are able to just put food on the table, which we believe is really important because children coming home to a household where the adults are actively engaged is hugely valuable. Um, other farmers are able to sort of do more and take it to the next level and really sell excess so that they're able to bring income into the home and the household can then afford things that they couldn't previously afford, such as medicine, books, those sort of things. In 2015, uh, they produced 26,000 rands worth of vegetables that year. 
By 2018, they produced 1.5 million rands. By 2019, it was 2.2 million. By 2020, it was 3.6, and last year was 4.2 million. So in a community where, according to census data, the average annual household income is 14,600 rand, you can imagine that this is making a difference. And in fact, the average income per farmer has actually doubled since we started this program. So Tanda is based in a very rural community and we are a very community based organisation. The vast majority of our staff, in fact all our programme staff are from the local community and we feel very strongly about empowering people from the local community to run the organisation to then empower other people in the community. Woolworths has had various ways in which customers can contribute towards the initiatives that we're doing as part of our corporate social investment. One of the ways you can get involved in this year, which is new, is that you can make a donation directly at the till point. You can ask the till operator to make any donation and those funds will go towards supporting organisations like the one I'm at today. They've had amazing results. They've seen that 94% of the people that are part of the programme are showing a profit and from 2015 when the programme first started, they've seen an increase in product activity on the farms by over a thousand percent and any funds that we get through the till will go to support an organization such as Tanda. Farming program we see people build themselves up to the point where they can build their own house or they can provide what their children need for themselves. We don't have to do it anymore. Something we're most excited about is the, the sustainability that we've seen in our programs and in, in the work that we do. Oh, what a truly remarkable and beautiful story. And we at Espresso are certainly proud to be associated with brands like Woolworths who are focused on strategies that impact our society and our communities for the better. And their alignment with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 2, which is a hashtag zero hunger future by 2030, is certainly something that speaks to the brand's commitment to that inclusive justice with a long lasting impact. So go ahead and be part of the movement of hashtag zero hunger future by 2030 by making donations of any size at their till points during this festive season at any of their stores.